Here's an example where we compare interest rates from two different banks. So let's say you just won $500 in the lottery and you decide to deposit your winnings. And you can choose between two banks. One offers a 4.25% interest rate compounded daily and the other offers a 4.3% interest rate compounded annually. And we want to know which bank ends up being better. Now when we look at it, the second bank, SunTrust, offers a higher interest rate, slightly higher, not dramatically higher, but a little bit. Um, but M&T's account is compounded more often. So it's not clear right away which one will be better. We have to calculate which one gives a higher return on the investment. What we're going to do on this one is just pick an arbitrary amount of time and see how much each account holds after that amount of time. Whichever one holds more is the higher paying account. So just for simplicity, let's pick one year just to make things easy. So I have to use the future value formula with compound interest. F equals P times 1 plus R over N to the NT. For M&T Bank, R is 0 0.0425 and N, if it's compounded daily, is 365. 365 times per year the interest is compounded. Whereas SunTrust, R is 0 0.043 and N is 1. It's compounded annually. So I pull up the calculator and calculate the future value for each of them with the present value of $500 and we'll let T equal 1 in both cases, just for simplicity. Again, I could use any length of time to compare these two, but we'll just use 1 to make things simple. So I'll calculate $500 times 1 plus the first interest rate, 0 0.0425, divided by 365, the first n, and then raise that to the power of 365 times 1. So M&T at the end of the year will hold $521.71. If I do the same calculation with the other account, 500 times 1 plus 0 0.043 divided by 1 raised to the 1 because their n is just 1. That account will hold $521.50. So the first account, the account with M&T Bank, wins out by a little bit, by about 21 cents. So it's not a dramatic difference, but of course if you deposited more, the difference would be more dramatic. But you see that even with a slightly lower interest rate, the fact that it's compounded more often makes M&T's account grow faster. So not only does the interest rate control how quickly it grows, but how often it's compounded. And the more often interest is compounded, the faster it grows.